and welcome to the Small Business Big Advice video series. Today, we're with Kuma Roberts, the Executive Director of Mosaic at the Tulsa Regional Chamber. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the small business case for diversity. So specifically with Mosaic, can you tell me a little bit more about its mission and its efforts? Absolutely. Mosaic is the Chamber's five-year program that's really focused on educating, leading, and influencing businesses to create a top inclusive culture to increase their competitive advantage. I, and that's so important for any business. Absolutely. Diversity breeds innovation. So. Absolutely, and yeah. I think more and more businesses, we have about 350 members focused on this very thing, and so I think they're all catching on that that diversity breeds innovation for them. Absolutely. Business. So, specifically for small businesses, mm -hmm. can you t uh, tell me how a small business can start evaluating their diversity efforts? Absolutely. I think one of the first things I can do as a shameless plug mm -hmm. is that small businesses should go to mosaictulsa.com and take the small business survey. That survey will help benefit benchmark them on where they stand with regard to internal hiring practices, their people, community outreach, and certainly the commitment from the top about how their organization is doing with regard to diversity and inclusion. Absolutely. And is that survey up all year? Absolutely. You can take it all year long, but we really Great. open it and we measure it during the course of October uh, through April and June. Awesome. I, yeah. Um, so how can a business make diversity a priority? Well, there's many ways a business can make it priority. First of all, I would suggest that as a, as a CEO or an owner of your small business, you know, how committed are you to the journey of, of this work? Because it definitely is a journey. And certainly once you've made that commitment, that's the first step, then you're going to want to benchmark, find out where you are. And then, of course, you're going to make it someone's job to do that. If it's yours, fantastic. If there's someone within your organization that you think has a passion to get engaged in this work, go ahead and identify that person and make it their job to wake up every day and think about how to embed diversity and inclusion in their work. Absolutely. With any business, um, quantifying or having those benchmarks is the first step to innovating and making your business better. Yes, ma'am. So thank you so much, Kuma, for thank being you. with us. And thank you. We'll see you at the next video.